planet is suffering the consequences of a plastic century. It's changed how we live our lives, but we've failed to deal with what's left over. Many of us are trying to choose better alternatives. It's becoming more common to see plastics described as biodegradable or compostable, but that doesn't mean you can be carefree with how you dispose of them. When I hear the words biodegradable for me, I think that that's going to be like an apple that's going to disappear within weeks. Imogen's tested to see how a range of different plastic bags would degrade in different environments. We buried them in the soil, we submerged them in the sea, we hung them outside. All of the bags didn't completely disappear in all of the environments. We had some biodegradable bags that did disappear in the ocean, but not necessarily in the soil. And our study showed that after three years, the majority of these bags could still hold a full bag of shopping. But leaders of the bioplastics industry point out the bags are not actually biodegradable. One of them was claimed to be biodegradable, but it wasn't. The other one was correctly labeled as being compostable, and that actually worked very well. And it even biodegraded in the water and in soil, even though it was only certified to be biodegrading in a composting facility. And that's a key difference. Compostable and biodegradable are not the same. These bags often need to go into a really specific place to break down. That could be an industrial composter where it has high heat, high moisture to completely break down. Some of us have the option to put food waste in a special bin, which the council collects. But where I live, we're told not to put anything other than food in there. No compostable plastics. A lot of uh, composting facilities don't know that these plastics indeed biodegrade quickly enough to be used together with food. So in order to make sure that no plastic enters their composting facilities, they often say they want to avoid any plastic altogether. So how are we supposed to know whether these materials will really break down? Labeling would be the first thing to go for and then to understand what it actually means. The seedling label that European Bioplastics own and the two labels that the certifiers own. But of course, it doesn't exclude the possibility that people have been misusing that label as well. And one golden rule must remain. No plastic should be thrown into the environment whatsoever. No matter how well it may biodegrade, no plastic belongs into the environment, period. Ty Genwright, Euronews, London.